Hi, my name is Severin and this is the blog that empowers people to become successful freelancers. Today we are starting a free educational course that I've created called 10 steps towards earning $3,000 per month as a freelance writer. The course is absolutely free, you don't need to pay anything. Just uh, please be attentive and listen to all my lessons because all of them are critical uh, in case if you are considering a career in one of freelance writing niches. In general, there will be 10 lessons, one lesson per day. Uh, you can watch all of them at once after they upload it or you can watch them gradually. I highly recommend the second option, it's much better for comprehension. Besides, there will be a final test at the end and in case if you pass this test, I will help you create a customized strategy of success in a freelance writing niche that is suitable for your interest, expectations and previous experience. Today there will be nine parts in this lesson. You can see them on the screen now. In case if you are not interested in listening about some of these parts, you can just scroll ahead, you know, to the middle, to the end, to listen about those topics that are interesting to you. And if you're super lazy or super, <laughs> I don't know, busy, you can just uh, scroll to the summary, which is summarize the main points of today's lesson and to the homework. Yes, you will have a homework today. And if you want to consume the knowledge in the next lessons, you should complete this, note, this uh, homework because it is critical uh, for choosing a freelance writing niche, which is the first step towards becoming a successful freelance writer. I will start this lesson with introducing myself. You know, uh, 10 lessons is kind of a big commitment, so it's better if uh, you and I know each other. I will tell you about who I am and why I think that uh, I might become a great teacher for you and why you should listen to my uh, recommendations. You know, what do I know about freelance writing to teach a course? Uh, then uh, we will talk ab about an ideal freelance writer. We will try to create a picture of this person, an ideal freelance writer, what skills does he have, uh, what knowledge, how does he behave himself. Then we'll talk about the most important skills that you should consider if you want to become a freelance writer. We will then uh, talk about uh, the salaries uh, in various freelance writing niches. I know it's one of the most interesting topics for most people, so I will try to be as specific as possible. Then we'll also mention uh, the issue of career development because, uh, well, it's important not only to understand how much you can earn here and now, but also how much you can earn tomorrow and the day after that, you know, how it is better to plan your career. And uh, finally, we will uh, briefly mention uh, the existing niches in freelance writing. There will be a separate course called Niches of Freelance Writing, but uh, I think that it's important to at least mention them today so that you will have an idea of what we will be talking about later. Finally, we'll have a summary, as I've stated above, and then a homework. Let's start. My name is Severin. I am 28 years old. I am happily married. At the moment, uh, I live uh, in Ukraine, but it's uh, only because of the quarantine situation. I prefer traveling with my wife around the globe. We've spent the whole previous year in Georgia, near the sea, and uh, if it weren't for this quarantine, we would probably be living in Spain or some other country at the moment. I hope that this lockdown will be over soon and we will be able to travel again. Anyway, I've been working as a freelance writer for more than six years. I've experimented with numerous uh, sectors and uh, I've definitely achieved some success. I think that my experience can be useful for anyone who is thinking about becoming a successful freelance writer. I've learned many useful things and uh, talked with many people who have also succeeded as freelance writers. So I think that, uh, well, I'm in a position to teach this course. I don't know much about, you know, some theoretical knowledge. All I will be talking about is practice, practical skills, practical experience. And I think uh, practice is what everyone needs, right? My specialty is uh, more of a business writing. I prefer creating different uh, business reports, uh, you know, white 
pages and uh, other assignments for business clients. However, I have also successfully worked as a creative writer, an academic writer, and even as a SEO copywriter in the beginning. So I've tried to almost everything that is in uh, this uh, large space of freelance writing. I will be honest with you, I have created this course, uh, well, in addition to altruistic purposes, I have created it to promote my YouTube channel. That is one of the reasons why everything is for free. You just need to subscribe to my channel and to well, all the lessons are for free. And the final test is for free, everything is for free. Uh, I like uh, freelance writing, but uh, you know, after six uh, years of uh, doing it, <laughs> day per day, it, uh, sometimes I get tired and want to try something different. And this YouTube thing is a... Is a, this YouTube thing is a way of distracting myself from this constant flow of orders. But uh, I would like to point out that freelance writing is my niche and uh, it will not go away at any point of time. I will be always a freelance writer because it has great salary, great benefits, really. It's great and uh, I wish this career for everyone. I can successfully travel around the globe. I, well, I don't want to break it, I earn a lot and, uh, well, uh, I enjoy all the benefits of freelancing. I have never taught an online course before, but uh, I am 100% confident that I have the skills and knowledge that can be useful for you if you are thinking of becoming a freelance writer. And uh, I promise that I will do all my best uh, to help you. Now let's talk about freelance writing. What is freelance writing? Well, it is a very, very broad category. It encompasses numerous niches, industries, uh, areas. Uh, most people think that uh, it is uh, freelance writing is about writing books, writing maybe SEO articles, maybe sometimes assignments for students and some journalism. But that's not all. Uh, no one knows how many uh, niches of freelance writing are there. And I don't know, maybe 100, maybe 1000. And uh, you can uh, find some new areas every day. I will tell you a funny story uh, from one of the first days when I worked as uh, an independent freelance writer. I have just finished uh, writing a great paper about Marxism, you know, this communistic manifest. and. Uh, I thought that I am so clever, I, I can go on freelancer.com and tell everyone that I have written such a great article and everyone will uh, order a paper from me. And I indeed found some person who said that uh, he's looking for people who will write some creative articles. I did not know what these articles were. I have uh, texted him and he said, OK, please uh, send me a sample of your work. I have sent him a sample. Uh, and says that uh, I like uh, business writing, but I can also write about science, about some, you know, clever things. And he responded, uh, okay, well, that's interesting, but uh, to be honest, we have a little different specialty. Uh, we write reviews for porn websites. And I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, this was a person uh, who was looking for people who would write to uh, produce for, for Indian, Indian porn websites. A very unusual area, right? And uh, he sent me a list of uh, keywords that are required for writing such uh, SEO articles. And I think you understand what these keywords were, right? <laughs> Everyone can guess. Of course, I didn't take this job, but it, this example illustrates how many niches of freelance writing are. I mean, there are so many that absolutely everyone can find an industry that inspires him or her, even, you know, in this highly uncommon area. Uh, so uh, the, trick, the trick is uh, to find the niche that is suitable for you. Really, the success of a freelance writer mostly depends on his or her ability to look uh, for all the niches that are there and find one that suits his or her unique skills, uh, interests, and previous experience. That, will, that is what we will try to accomplish in this course, and that is what I will do for you personally, in case if you pass a final test. In general, there are two, uh, I don't know, roles in freelance writing. 
The first one is to become an independent specialist and the second one is to find some platform or some employer. Well, in essence, become a remote uh, office employee. You know, uh, the specifics of uh, these two roles are fundamentally different. If you are an independent uh, freelancer, you'll need to return clients, a resume and uh, many, many connections. Maybe your own websites. If you cooperate with a platform or an employee, you'll, need a, you'll also need a resume, but after that you will need to learn the unique secrets of success at your particular platform. Uh, like uh, how, uh, how can you become the top writer on this platform, how you can find clients there, how is rating of writers calculated there. Sometimes, uh, in some niches, you will be always an independent uh, freelancer. Like, for instance, I doubt that there are any platforms for people who write scripts for films, right? You will be always an independent script writer and you will always uh, look for people who hire this uh, script writers for uh, short-term projects. Well, likely. As, on the other hand, uh, succeeding as an academic writer uh, it is absolutely impossible if you are an independent uh, uh, freelancer. You can only earn like uh, two, three thousand dollars per month if you find a great platform and cooperate with it on a regular basis. So you should understand that in dependence on the niche that you choose, there are only two ways for you. And it is very important to choose one because while it is uh, possible to um, make a transition from one niche of freelance writing to another, it is very, very hard uh, to make a shift from uh, one road to another, you know, because the knowledge and skills that you acquired uh, when working on this platform will not help you if you're thinking of becoming an independent freelancer and vice versa. Let's talk about your skills now. There are four skills that are critical in any freelance writing niche. I don't say that you must be super great and to display perfect skills in all these four categories, but what is really important is to understand what your skills are, to evaluate yourself, you know. These uh, skills are fluency, creativity, uh, time management and patience. Oh, <laughs> this finger, you know, tricky thing. So four skills, really. Uh, independence on your uh, ability to display the highest possible skills in these categories, you can choose a perfect uh, niche for you. And it doesn't mean that you should be super fluent, super creative and uh, etc. No, no. The only thing that matters is whether you understand who you are and what skills you have. Look, I'll be honest with you, I'm not super fluent in English. I think you can uh, see from my language that I make occasional mistakes, you know, in grammar. And uh, my vocabulary is pretty poor, uh, <laughs> but it doesn't mean that I cannot become a great uh, freelance writer. I uh, well earn much more than most uh, native freelance writers do. The thing is that I understand my strengths and my weaknesses, and you should understand them too. So think, are you fluent? To what degree are you fluent? Are you creative? Are you able to write a book or do you want just to write the same tasks over and over? Are you patient? Can you actually talk with clients who offend you, who say, get out of here, you're stupid. And uh, you just say, oh, I'm sorry that you feel this way, but please uh, stay in line. I will do all my best to help you. Can you do the same? And finally, time management. Are you able to plan your time? Are you able to uh, <laughs> be always uh, aware of the projects that you have and say no to all your friends who invite you to have a beer in a bar? Please answer to all these questions and it is very important to know where you stand and where can you go from that. Now let's create a picture of an ideal freelancer. Let's call him, let's call him uh, John Smith, okay? This John guy is an ideal freelance writer. He earns a lot. So, so what skills does he have? Well, I hope you understand this is a, this is a hypothetical figure, right? Uh, so this person, first of all, he has great time management skills. He knows how to say no. 
he knows when to work, he knows when to rest. A person who, who always works is not a good freelance writer. A good freelance writer is a person who can manage his or her time. And John is uh, one of the guys uh, who knows how to do it. He works three days, you know, constantly, and then he rests for the remaining of the week because he understands that it is much better than uh, to work and rest <laughs> every day. It is impossible to combine enjoyment and work, you know, leisure and work. It's much better to do them one after another. The second thing is that John is super patient with customers, with the support team, with money withdrawal companies. He always, uh, he always understands what to expect from these stakeholders and uh, he will never get angry, he will never offend anybody and as a result he will always be valued by everyone around. The third thing is uh, expectations. John has great expectations because uh, you know, he does not think that he can earn $5,000 per day. No one can earn $5,000 per day. I don't understand why some people think that they can do it. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, Bill, Bill Gates may be one of those people, but uh, a regular person like you and me will never earn $5,000 per day on a, regular on a regular basis. You know what I mean? And John understand it, understands it. He knows how to manage expectations and uh, how to plan your future. Like, I will earn five bucks today, a uh, hundred bucks tomorrow. He knows how to uh, create a plan of a monthly salary. And as a result, this freelance writing will become a full-time job for him because he will be able to manage this work into a constant uh, source of a relatively stable income that will pay for everything. Look, I have paid uh, this freelance writing for my wedding, for my... Uh, for my vacations, this endless traveling things, uh, for my apartment, for everything. And John, <laughs> this virtual person, also knows how to do it. And what is the most important is that he uh, loves what he does, you know. You will never succeed if you do not love what you do. Everyone loves something, right? But uh, if you love something, if you like some activity, there is likely a freelance writing niche for you, right? Uh, there are many freelance niches, as I've said before, and uh, regardless of what you like to do, you can always write about it somewhere and earn money for it. You should concentrate on what you like, and this way it will be easier for you to find a suitable niche and start earning a substantial salary on a regular basis, not a one-time thing. Now we will talk about money. The most pressing, the most interesting topic. Money, well, uh, there are many different pay rates in freelance writing. First of all, I would like to tell you that there, is, there are no miracles here. I don't know anyone who has earned more than uh, $10,000 per month, really. Maybe there are some people, but I personally have not heard of any of them. I have not met with them. Maybe Brown earns more, you know, uh, an author of the Game of Thrones, but <laughs> regular people can barely earn more than this uh, figure on a monthly basis. Uh, however, earning $5,000 per month is possible. Really, I can say it uh, from the experience, based on the experience of many people. Uh, as a rule, uh, freelance writers do not have a monthly salary. They have a pay rate per page. Like how many dollars per page or maybe per word do you receive? I, for instance, receive uh, a certain uh, amount of dollars per uh, page. A page uh, has uh, around uh, 275 words. And in the beginning, I used to get uh, $5 per page. Now I never charge less than uh, 12 and uh, sometimes I earn more than $20 per page. But, uh, well, there is a specific uh, pay rate in every niche. In any case, uh, your career in freelance writing implies gradually increasing uh, this uh, cost per page, you know, on a 
very gradual basis uh, in an in the ideal world uh, after a year after two years you will double or triple your pay rate but you will never start from earning twenty dollars per page really um, now let's talk about uh, what salary you can expect in the beginning in the beginning in most niches you will end uh, you will earn between uh, three and uh, six seven dollars per page I doubt that you will make more than fifty dollars per day in the beginning but uh, $50 per day really is is real is not I'm, I'm not uh, imagining this scenario uh, 50 bucks per day is something that I have personally earned in my first day I remember this article I was thrilled about it I was in an empty apartment with no furniture I didn't have much money and then I received this gig it was like a miracle for me uh, now I don't think that that's a lot really but uh, at that time it was a uh, it was good news so 50 bucks per day is uh, something that you can expect in the beginning if you are very hard working and if you put a significant uh, amount of effort uh, into your daily work. I also would like to point out that uh, you should understand one very important thing. There is no fairness in the world of freelance writing. I mean, there are platforms and people who pay 20, 50, n dollars per page and there are platforms that uh, pay three dollars per page and sometimes there is no much difference between them i mean in academic writing is really it's hilarious there are platforms like you know, there is this platform called writer zealous it pays uh, you seven dollars per page for a beginner and there is a platform called for writers it pays three dollars per page there is no difference between these platforms really the skill requirements are the same so why this unfairness i i don't know but the thing is that you should monitor the market really you should look for many options and even in the start in the beginning of your career it is very important to find an opportunity that at least guarantees you some adequate adequate salary you know if you are if you do not know how much to charge you can leave a comment i will tell you what is an optimal price for a beginner based on your experience and the niche in which you're operating in any case uh, charging uh, less than three dollars per page is hilarious really it's it's never a good idea and i do not recommend you charging less than five dollars per page uh, working for six dollars per page on the other hand is possible if you are a beginner it may be a good start for you now let's talk about uh, the issue of career development so your career will grow like in the world of uh, office employees like in the regular world but it will highly depend on the road that you follow i've said it before right there are two roads in freelance writing uh, working as an independent freelancer or working as a uh, as a member of a platform or as an uh, as a virtual employee in case if you are an independent freelancer who does not cooperate with uh, anyone who is just you know a free person and finds new clients on a regular basis you will uh, need uh, several things to develop your career you will need to return clients great recommendations uh, and uh, you'll need a perfect portfolio absolutely in this case you will just have some your own websites maybe an instagram page your own blog or something else and you will gradually increase your pay rate from five to six to ten to twenty dollars per page on a gradual basis along with the development of your uh, brand via the word of mouth method you know people will talk about you people will uh, give recommendations to their friends and acquaintances and uh, the number of your customers will grow this is a typical career development path, path for uh, uh, for independent freelancers at the same time in the world of platforms if you cooperate with uh, such a large platform as uh, writer zealous in academic writing the situation will be absolutely different you will not uh, develop your career like uh, in the case of uh, freelance uh, of independent freelancers you will just grow as an employee of this website you will have a better rating you will an have an access to uh, a more significant uh, number of orders and high paid orders 
So your salary will grow at the same time if you suddenly quit this platform. Oops, you are right in the beginning because you don't have any portfolio, you don't have any return customers, everything depends on your uh, on your platform. So it's very important to you know keep in touch with this platform. If you lose it, if you get fired, you will need to start from scratch. So from the perspective of security, working as a, an independent freelancer is much better for career development at the same time. Starting your career and earning, I don't know, like uh, $1,000 per month, $2,000 per month, you know, in the beginning, it is much easier if you cooperate with a large platform. Finally, I also would like to talk about the choice of freelance niches. As I've said before, I will also create a specific video about this uh, very, very important subject. At the same time, uh, now I would like just you know, to give you some general idea about the niches of uh, freelance writing. In my personal opinion, it's my personal opinion, uh, there are not a lot of these niches because most of them can be grouped into some very common, uh, common categories like uh, SEO copywriting, academic writing, creative writing, blog writing and uh, book writing. I think that almost every area of freelance writing that uh, has ever existed and uh, that uh, will ever emerge, you know, can be linked to one of these five categories. These are very broad areas uh, and uh, I think that uh, when you think about choosing a niche, you should choose uh, one of these five categories. I will create a detailed uh, guideline for you on how to do that in one of the next videos. However, now I just would like to emphasize that there is a very significant difference between them because these uh, skills, you remember, right, the ones that I used to talk about, like uh, fluency, creativity, time management, patience, requirements concerning these skills are very different for these platforms. For instance, in SEO copywriting, you'll need to do the same work again over, over, over and over. Of course, you need to be super patient in order to do that. You should never be late. You should be very, very persistent. And uh, at the same time, you can, uh, well, you can uh, just switch off your brain because uh, sometimes serial copywriting does not require any creativity at all. At the same time, creative writing is very unstable you may lose your job at any point of time. As a serial copywriting, you will have job security, but in creative writing, it's not. It's, it's very hard to achieve. Uh, you will have maybe a higher salary, uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, the chances uh, of uh, you know getting some problems, facing some problems when communicating with customers, so will be very high, and uh, you need to approach differently each task. Some people find it very exciting and some people uh, are very tired of, uh, uh, you know, showing this creativity on a daily basis. In a similar manner, academic writing is fundamentally different uh, from both SEO copywriting and creative writing. It's a peculiar combination of these two things. And uh, you need to understand what skills you have and what expectations you have, what do you expect from your freelance writing career. And after that, you will be able to choose a niche that suits all these uh, factors. Uh, if you write your skills, you know, in the comment section, I can help you find the niche that is suitable for you. But anyway, uh, I think that uh, the final choice can be made only uh, when you um, listen to the third lesson of this uh, uh, educational course that is dedicated to, to the existing niches of freelance writing. Let's uh, summarize what we will learn today. Freelance writing is everywhere, really. There are plenty of niches, they are very interesting, and everyone can find an industry that suits his or her interests and expectations. In general, there are two uh, roads in uh, freelance writing cooperating with a platform or working as an independent freelancer. Uh, your salary, your career path uh, will uh, highly, strongly depend on uh, the choice of this road, so it is very important to choose wisely. 
In case if you're a beginner, I recommend you to start with uh, working with some platform. It will be much easier for you to find jobs. If you are not a beginner or if you're a creative writer, it's much better to uh, start your career as an independent freelancer. In the beginning, you will probably um, write something for free, but then uh, your earning potential will increase and it will be much easier for you to find clients. Fluency, creativity, time management and patience are four critical skills in freelance writing. Please evaluate yourself and uh, tell me what your skills are in all these four categories. Your salary, your niche will highly depend on uh, your skills in these uh, four areas. Earning $3,000 per month is possible in any industry, but sometimes uh, you'll need uh, you know, to acquire fundamentally different skills and knowledge for succeeding. Therefore, it is of paramount importance to choose wisely. In a similar manner with the two roles of uh, freelance writing, there are also two career development models. If you are an independent freelancer, you will need a resume, a portfolio, return customers. If you are cooperating with a platform, you will only need uh, to be great <laughs> for this particular platform, like increasing your rating uh, and uh, finding a way to communicate with the support team. An ideal freelance writer is patient, polite, has great time management and adequate expectations. He loves what he does and that is why he earns a lot. You can become this ideal freelance writer and interestingly, you don't even need to be that fluent in English. What is important is freelance writing is uh, not to have uh, the best skills that they are, uh, what is really important is to understand who you are and uh, be, you know, critical of yourself. Now, after you listen to the content of this lesson, I encourage you to answer two questions. This will be your homework for today. First of all, please tell me what do you love? You can tell me absolutely everything, really anything that you love. Uh, parting, uh, skateboarding, I don't know watching football or uh, maybe looking at dresses, <laughs> anything you want, really. In case if I understand what you love, really, it will be much easier for me to give you some uh, useful, uh, helpful recommendations and uh, assist you with the choice of a freelance niche, which is critical at this point. And second of all, please evaluate yourself uh, in line with these four areas that I've told about you. Right? Fluency, uh, creativity, time management and patience. Don't try uh, to be a hero and say, oh, okay, I'm great in all these four things. No, please be critical and please uh, tell me and tell yourself honestly. Do you have all the skills? And if the answer is no, it doesn't mean that you cannot be a freelance writer. It just means that you should not consider entering some complex area of freelance writing, like creative writing, you know. Please answer these two questions. If this is your homework and uh, in case if you successfully answer these questions, it will be much easier for you to consume the material and uh, in particular the second lesson that will be dedicated to the rules of freelance writing. The lesson will be uploaded tomorrow and uh, please stay updated. Please also leave uh, comments below in case if you have any questions or maybe uh, can provide some feedback or recommendations to me. This is the first online course that I teach, so it is very important for me to understand where I stand and whether I manage to teach you something useful. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day.